This video is a continuation of my experience with sciatic nerve pain. The first video I discussed the pain um, I was having during the sciatic episode. Uh, the areas the pain was affecting me and some of the issues that I had uh, that I have once the pain somewhat uh, subdued. So please check the first video out. And this video actually I will pretty much discuss and show you what I did to at least try to maintain my weight um, because I realized uh, after being in pain for about a week or so I was unable to function properly and be able to eat the way I normally eat not only um, I didn't have much appetite uh, because I had no physical activities whatsoever and I was unable to walk to prepare a decent meal for myself so uh, when the pain somewhat subdued or gave me a break I rushed to prepare some of my meal uh, for myself and sometime for the rest of the family I was able to notice the amount of weight that I lost in a matter of three or four days because I uh, because I have a, a habit of weighing myself daily in the morning and before going to bed. Otherwise, I'll not know or even notice that I was uh, losing weight. So I pretty much lost a good amount of weight uh, pretty quickly. So uh, pretty much in this video, I pretty much show you what I did to at least maintain my weight. Uh, it's not the most exciting video but it was easy to make because uh, I was doing I was pretty much doing things for myself in the first place and all I had to do was to place my camera on the stand and record whatever I was doing so I hope uh, you enjoyed this video and there will be another video after this one that will um, that I will explain um, some of the uh, exercises that I what I some of the exercises that I do to help uh, strengthen my joints because after the sciatica episode um, I've lost uh, some range of motion on my foot and uh, I've been doing some exercises to help strengthen um, my 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 joints and things like that so the last video will pretty much just I will show you what I've been doing to help uh, strengthen my my feet so enjoy the video thanks this weighing was the first uh, recorded uh, morning weighing after Let's noticing is. that I've been losing um, a great amount of weight so quickly so I use my cell phone to record it and I think I might have posted on Instagram also. So I'm going to make something to eat. I need to bring my weight up. <coughs> I'm losing the weight but it's not the way I want it to lose it. If I was like 130 and I 130 pounds and I had all of this, that would have been perfect. 127 is not my weight, uh, my regular weight, so I need to do something about it. And I'm gonna fix myself something to eat and hopefully I bring it back up. My leg is still a problem. Uh, it's like all over like static pain and stuff so I am going to try to bring the weight up
right now I just weigh myself. I am about 127 pounds. That's too low for me. So I need to bring my weight up a bit. And uh, pretty much I haven't been eating right because of my leg. I've been in bed uh, in pain and I can't really walk to fix myself something to eat. So now the pain is a bit uh, okay, alleviated a little bit. So I'm, <clears throat> while I can, I'm going to try to fix something to eat. So I'm going to make coffee. That's number one. Number two, I am going to have a whole wheat taco. Uh, to tell you the truth, it's, the, it's in the morning right now. I'm not even hungry, but I need to put something in my stomach before lunch. And then um, I need to bring the weight up. Um, so I'm going to have, because I'm not that hungry, maybe one taco along with some mixed vegetables. I made that on Sunday and uh, believe me, it comes really ha uh, handy when uh, you cook your food in advance. And I have some ground meat. I'm going to warm up a little bit and uh, I'm going to mix it <clears throat> with all of this and then I'm going to have egg white. So first, I don't know if you can see it, there's the egg white. So first, I am going to warm up the pan. I have a bigger one. This one is small, but I have a bigger one. It's all the way down in the cupboard. I don't want to bend down to aggravate my leg. So I'm using this one because it was a little bit higher. So I'm going to warm this up and I'm going to eat one of that, one of the tacos. I'm going to put the rest away and I'm going to take another plate to warm this up in a microwave. <clears throat> so here's my plate. Uh, you know what? Let's wait and just to test some my skills. So right now, Let's see if I could bring the camera closer. Let's see if we could zoom in a little bit. I am going to take about three ounces of everything. So the scale is at zero. So I want three ounces of the chili. There, you see? 3.1. I don't know if you guys could see it. 3.1. One scope, and I already knew it was 3.1. And I'm going to bring it back to zero to take some of the mixed vegetables. The mixed vegetable I'm not too concerned about. There is that zero. I don't know if you guys could see it. And I'm going to take, just to be on the safe side, also 3 ounces. And hopefully they all can close then. This is probably one something. And maybe 2 ounces because I'm afraid the taco won't be able to close. 2.5. Not much less do it. There. 3 ounces. So three ounces of that. And I, I have some rice in there in the rice cooker that's warming up. So I'll take some of that too. So now I'm going to warm up my uh, taco thing. Let me lower this and close that. Let me warm this up. I need to zoom out, but let me warm this up first. For the uh, coffee, I'm going to have uh, <coughs> two sweeteners. I need to 
to put this away. I'm done with it. I put the scale away. I'm gonna have, I'm gonna do the egg white. I don't know if you guys could see it, but my egg white, I don't usually, I just fry it and that's it. I don't usually put anything, no salt, no seasoning, nothing. So here's my egg white. Oh shit, I didn't open it. I thought I started using it already. and then for my coffee I'm sort of multitasking right now I already put uh, my milk in there 2% milk I'm not really a heavy coffee drinker but I like having it in the morning and uh, to Trivia. And my hot water. And that's my coffee. And now. Uh, the egg white. I was going to make a video about, uh, <clears throat> I think I posted on my Instagram, uh, some movement that I did to help alleviate uh, my sci uh, sciatic nerve pain. Uh, I thought about it. I decided not, not to do it because, uh, I don't know, maybe I was over my head that I was so happy it, I, w I didn't have any pain. So I don't want people to go and do <clears throat> and do it and then make things worse for them so I am not gonna do that video and uh, I did try it another time when the uh, pain came back it didn't fully work also I guess I don't know it did alleviate a little bit so it's not like it stopped the pain I did say it was a temporary relief but okay so there's my egg white Okay, and then I'm gonna leave this pan here. I'm not gonna clean it because I may have that later on. Uh, make some egg white later on. Now the problem is, can all this fit in there? And I'm gonna take a little bit of white rice. This is not even two ounces, just a little bit. This is one way that I like to eat, <clears throat> put everything in, in, in the wrap to actually uh, fills me up because I've been so con not really conscious but I'm aware of what I'm eating so uh, I get full very easily I you know I filled up very easily so I I measure my food so if I want to eat a bit more than what I normally eat, I do it like this. Wrap it up in the wrap and then um, hopefully I, uh, it fills me up. Not hopefully, it will. I already know it will. It's a little bit much, but we shall see. And I like to put... A little bit spice on my thing. When I cook these, I don't put any uh, cayenne pepper in it, just in case if my kids wants to eat it, so they don't have any problem. But when I 
take my portion I add my own spice additional spice so pretty much this is my breakfast this and a glass uh, and a cup of uh, uh, coffee so I'm gonna take a quick picture put it on Instagram and then uh, that's pretty much it if I'm I might do a lunch also maybe I'll record that so that's it for now also another thing I forgot to add um, after I eat I'm gonna add my vitamins I've been a bit slacking with that so <clears throat> For today, I'm gonna have uh, a multivitamin. Let me take it out. So throughout the day, I'll be after a meal or something, I'll take one of them, and then I'm gonna have vitamin C. And then I'm gonna have fish oil. Just one of each. And two more. I'm gonna have vitamin D and zinc. Oh, the zinc is almost finished, so I need to buy some. One zinc, one vitamin D. Alright, how many? 200 tablet. Yeah, just one. I don't need. So, throughout the day, I'll be taking one of these after a meal. There's my vitamins for today. Alright, and then maybe after I eat, I'll take <coughs> uh, the zinc and the fish oil. And then maybe after lunch, I'll take another maybe the daily uh, multivitamin or the vitamin C and then that'll be it so I just wanted to show you, you guys that I haven't been in the gym in a while so but I have to eat and my weight is going down too quickly and I know some people will love that but that's not me I have to eat and I need to <clears throat> I need to be between either 128 to 135 that's my weight when I <clears throat> when I'm 135 or 136 37 or something like that when I try to lose weight I reach between 128 and 130 never below that uh, right now it's way below I think it's 126 or 127 that's not good I need to bring it back up and my abs is actually showing but not the way that I wanted to show it's pretty good I'm not doing any exercises and uh, I know some people will love that right now but that's not me so I'll get back to you guys okay now I'm prepping meal number two this is the pan that I used earlier to make my fry, um, my eggs and um, I knew I was gonna use it again so there was no reason for me to wash it and then clean it again and whatever because I can't even stand and walk so I'm gonna make uh, lunch right now and uh, my weight my weight sort of went okay. up this is slightly 128 um, midday which is okay I want to see now if I'm on 126 or 127 or something again. <clears throat> for the rice I don't have that much rice left but uh, I'm gonna I don't wanna make new one unless if the kids want uh, can't even get and off the uh, wait until tomorrow to make uh, rice so you went up from so here I'm just I trying to breakfast. zoom in the scale now, so you guys could see I'm gonna that make some zero and I'm gonna take whatever is left with the rice which is not much lunch to eat and this is probably maybe exactly three ounce 2.9 and I'm taking these along with it 
3.1. There. So 3.1 ounce of rice. And I'm going to bring it back to zero. And I am going to take about maybe four ounce of uh, mixed vegetable. Same thing as breakfast this morning. Except this time I'm not uh, using the tortilla wrap. Uh, let's see. Oops, I went way too much. Almost five ounce. Yeah, five. you know what? That's a bit too much. Let's make it 4.5. You know 4.2 is fine. Alright. That's that. And I am going to put some chili also. Bring that down. Oh, you know what? I should have wiped this down. I usually wipe everything. So... Right now it is 140. That's lunch, and I have 3.1 ounce of uh, rice and 4.2 ounce mixed veggie. And I'm gonna have some chili. And egg white. Egg white, I'm not gonna measure it. And my weight, I'm going to put midday weight is 128, I think it was. Midday weight, 128 pound. See, I got up this morning. I was, I don't know if you guys could see it. Uh, focus. So there it is. Date is... 1 2016 when i weigh myself i was 126.5 pound and yesterday when i got up i was 126.5 went to sleep 126.5 got up again 126.5 so i'm trying to bring my weight up and by midday it already went up it's 128 right now 128 pound and uh i have to increase my calories and all of that uh, I'm sure a lot of people would love to be in my spot right now where they're trying to lose weight, but I don't need that right now. So, next thing I'm going to do is the chili. Should be at zero. And for the chili, I, I'm not too fond of maybe three ounce because I'm going to eat it with white, um, egg white too. This is a good thing about prepping your food. See, I have all of this. That will last me for a while. And if the kids were to eat it, it would been good too. This is probably, I'm guessing, maybe around 3 ounce. Oh, 2.5. I'm off. Okay, 3.2 is okay. And write this down. 3, 2... So usually when I write this, if I want to, let's say if I want to lose weight or gain weight, if I don't want to do all sort of uh, macro calculation, I just go to this. If I say I want to be 126.5 pounds, I look at what I ate that day and I'll manage to eat the same thing. So I'm putting these away and then I am going to warm them up. And while I warm them up, I am going to make the eggs. So I put, I, I don't need the scale right now. One minute. Oh shit, I can't even walk, I'm falling. I had put this on um, YouTube yet. I know I did a recording about this pump. 
I have so many videos that uh, I want to put up and right now I can't even sit to do it because of my leg. Uh, but uh, this is a good way to to use uh, your fat, your spray. I, I have a lot of uh, of this Pam spray. See, this one has a lot. For some reason, it cannot spray. Let's see. Uh, see, I, I can't even use it. So, um, I came across a video on YouTube. I think it was Chelsea Lift or something like that. Who put uh, a video about uh, a spray thing that she used. It's not the same brand though. I, can, I went to look for it. I can't find it. But I came across this, which is close to what she had. And uh, I love it. There it is. And I'm gonna. Uh, actually, I have uh, olive oil in it. So you could put any type of cooking oil except for coconut oil because the coconut oil will uh, get hardened and it won't work with the squid. So now I'm gonna make my egg white. If I wanted, I could uh, just eat uh, whatever I had measured, but I want to eat a bit more protein and different type of protein, so I'm doing the egg white. And, oh yeah, I have some onions and stuff like that that I stir, um, stir fried, I don't know if I can see it. So I am going to warm this up slightly, I don't want it to be too cold and put it with my uh, other thing that I measured. So, let's put 45 seconds. And there is my uh, part of the food that I'm gonna eat. And I'm gonna spray a little bit of cayenne pepper. The only difference with this from this morning lunch is just that I don't have any, I didn't, I don't use the, uh, what's that thing again? I don't like to scramble my eggs. I don't have the tortilla wrap. I didn't want to have that today for lunch. And I did put a bit too much on it. I had a hard time uh, wrapping it up. Pretty much my egg is done. Let me get my onions. There's my onion. I just warm it up. and some tomatoes. I don't want the tomatoes right now. You know what? I'll take one of the... Maybe for dinner, I'll have the rest. And... Uh, if you're not tired of eating the same thing, like me, by, mo by all means, go ahead. Because... Uh, I hardly get tired of eating the same food. Right now it's the same thing as this morning, just different way. There it is. Shit, where's my phone? I don't wanna walk and get it. So I'm gonna take a quick picture of this, put it on Instagram. My phone is so slow. And, okay, there it is. Since I had shown my uh, abdominal earlier this morning, so let me show you guys my abdominal again. This is my hallway with all this water. Let's see, put it here. This is, see, it's still showing. Most people will love that. I do, but I need to put some weight in. My skin is a bit dry right now. There's the ad is still showing. My only concern right now, since I can't lift, is to not lose some of the gains that I make, my muscle mass. So anyway, this is meal number two. That's lunch. 
and hopefully I will do dinner also. I'm, I'm full. I don't really need to eat right now, but I have to do it. So I weigh myself a few minutes ago. My weight is still down. I'm not hungry, so I decided to make a shake. So I'm going to have uh, some yogurt and sure, it has tons of vitamins. Egg white, whey protein, and I'm gonna put a little bit of oh. everybody's home now, so there's a lot of noise going on. Some cinnamon, so okay, in the hut. Let's get it going. There is direction on the homework, Michael. Because I read it. You're not taking your time. I'm going to use this. This is four ounce to put the amount of ensure, egg white, and water. Mm. <laughs> exactly for arms in there. Four ounces as well. Gonna put a little bit of cinnamon. Let me get a different spoon. I don't need to put a lot in it. Just a small amount. That. Done with this. And uh, there's my foot. I'm gonna put that. Frozen foot. Not too much. And I am going to put. This is trash, it's done. Yep. Gonna put two scoops of whey protein. Done. That's my last meal, and now I'm gonna blend it. Did I what? Did you drop something? I did not drop anything. I'm making something to drink. Well, well, what are you making? Something yummy. Making yummy. Yummy yummy. You are making juice? Yep. Juice? Juice? Did you just put something? Yeah. Be careful, be careful. It's too much. It's too much? Yeah, because you, you can fall it. Then it's gonna be too much. Is this correct? Or oh, did I put it correctly? There it is. That's my last meal. My weight is too low. If it was 128, I would leave it. I'm still not hungry, but 127 is a bit too low. So I'm gonna go to sleep with a little bit higher weight. 
uh, hopefully when I weigh myself before I go to sleep it's like 128 or I doubt it it will be 129 so when I get up in the morning it'll be about 127 instead of 126 which was what it was today so if I get up in the morning it's like 127 and then throughout the day I'll do the same kind of eating and <clears throat> it will increase maybe another one pound so if I go to sleep tomorrow night, it's like 128 or 129. So when I get up in the morning, the following day will be 127. So each time I go to sleep, at least I'll bring it up one pound higher. And then when I go to sleep, I'll lose that one pound and then gain it again, then lose a little bit. So it's almost the same way when I am doing when I'm trying to lose weight. So I rather do it slowly instead of pew, all of a sudden and then you can't control it. So for now, that's the beginning. If it's 128 tomorrow when I get up, uh, I'll still manage it, but I'll make sure to eat enough to maintain between 128 and 130. But 126 is a big no-no for me. It's too low. So the next thing I'll do before I go to sleep, use my cell phone to do my last weigh-in. Alright. see. Last weigh-in. Let's see how much I weigh. Perfect. 129. There it is. That's what I wanted. I didn't want to go to bed with 128.